and welcome to the gorgeous Blue Cross Centre here up at Burford. Now I'm joined by the lovely Grace. So Grace, you're going to talk to me and the lovely viewers today about some fancy terms of training of horses, operant conditioning and classical conditioning. So what do they mean? <laughs> so operant conditioning is basically trial and error learning mm -hmm. and if they have a rewarding outcome from it they're more likely to want to try again yeah. and if it's something they didn't like they're less likely to try it again so some good examples of that um so they do it with and without us so if they say touch an electric fence yeah that would be a not a nice outcome from them. they're less likely to want to try it again so they've learned mm -hmm. to operate in their world that maybe don't touch that fence or say we um <laughs> they do something that we like and then we reward them for it then I want to try and to do that again. So actually we can start to analyse our horse's behaviour every single part of the day, thinking about feed time, mucking out, yes. field time, and start to think which way are they viewing all of those processes. Definitely. Um, and then if we move on to classical conditioning, mm -hmm. so it sounds similar but it's a little bit different. So it's about how <laughs> they learn something new from a response they already know. Mm -hmm. So if, they, if you are making your feeds, they would start to learn the sound of you making their feeds as you appearing with the feed bucket. So at first you appear with the feed bucket, they don't understand that the making of the feeds is the, is the noise, but so actually you start to make the feeds, they might start to then get excited about it. So they've classically conditioned, before you appear, that noise happens, mm -hmm. and then you appear with food. Fab, so I think I'm starting to be able to understand it, but it's probably easier with some examples. You've got some in store for me and them, haven't you? Yes. Fab, let's go have a little look. So that was a great form of classical conditioning, me bringing out the bucket and she got really excited because she knew that was what was going to happen. And you might have heard she started door banging, so she got really excited and she wanted to door bang. So her using operant conditioning is her going, if I bang the door more, she will come and bring me food. When actually, I now need to operantly condition her not to bang the door. So if I then appear with food and she starts banging the door, what I need to actually do is go back to the feed room, wait for her to stop banging and reappear with the feed bowl when she's calm. So we just need to train her that the door banging doesn't mean food anymore. So Grace, what an amazing example of classical and operant conditioning. So I think we've all had certainly a time when our viewers or me have had a pony banging down at the door at feed time. And actually you say that's something we've probably caused. Yeah, so we might have operantly conditioned her that when you bang the door, mm -hmm. I bring you food. Although she's classically conditioned it, so me coming with the food bowl, so she knows that me holding that means that food is coming. But then if she bangs the door and then I go, here's your food, I've accidentally trained it. So mm -hmm. I just need to then go back and actually say that <laughs> the consequence of banging the door doesn't actually mean the food is coming. But obviously there are certain situations from all the amazing other videos we've chatted about with yeah. the herd instinct, the flight instinct, a horse perhaps being left in a field by itself with its friends come in and it's going a little bit mad, that wouldn't be a time to apply this. No, absolutely not. That's because we're playing against their instinct there mm -hmm. and their instinct is to feel safe in the company of others. So I wouldn't then use that example for that. I would obviously prioritise their safety at all times. And yours, obviously. <laughs> yeah. So the logic behind that would be, actually, that's something that's bred into them, the herd and flight instinct. Yeah. That's saying we can't change. Yeah. Whereas this, this is saying we have caused. Yes, we've accidentally trained that. Mm -hmm. So it's about going through your training and think about those things that you might find less than desirable yeah. <laughs> and thinking, how have I accidentally trained that? Or is there a little way I can unpick it to make that behaviour less likely? Fab, you make this sound so logical, Grace. And I can't wait to go home and look at all of my horse's routines. I think, actually, is there something that I, I can alter? to make them happier and, and the whole routine work even easier and I hope all of you at home can go back and think a little bit about how you're doing things with your own horses and hopefully you can apply some of the amazing things Grace has hinted at.